Okay, in today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to import a AXF file into Clo, the uh, designing software. Now, you can't natively bring in AXF into Clo, but there's a way where you can export your AXF files into a readable format for Clo. Um, before we do that, though, let's go over exactly what an AXF and the, what the total appearance capture machine is. So an AXF file is the digital twin of a physical material sample comprising of full appearance measurement information plus metadata. So appearance isn't just color or just a picture. It's the full visual sensation through which an object is perceived to have attributes such as color, texture, gloss, transparency, translucency, and other variables as well. Now an AXF will have um, some of the most detailed amount of accuracy in your materials that you scan from the TAC-7 machine. So you're going to get all of those finite details of threads or gloss or whatever it is depending on the material instead of just an artistic rendering or just a photograph of just the material. This is because the TAC-7 scanner has a structured light projector, four industrial grade cameras, 32 white LED point light sources, eight spectral filter wheels, and a variable linear light scanner. That paired up with the Pantora software will get you the most accurate photographs of the material that you're scanning. Some of the materials that and maps that you'll get out of an AXF and the TAC-7 machine are normals, diffuse color, roughness, specular, some, those are some of the more common ones. Depending on the material that you're scanning, you could also see things like a height map or an alpha map. So with that, let's go ahead and go into Pantora here. And you can see I have this uh, gray with these blue dots uh, textile. Uh, we scanned that in already and I already made my edits to it so that way it's tileable and it will look very nice and seamless when we bring it into Clo. If you don't have that up already and you need to go grab a material, you can go ahead and go into your browser, pull material down, and bring it into the editor and you can do that. But we're going to go ahead and go with this blue dotted material. So we're going to go up to the menu, go to export all edited textures, optimize for, and you're going to grab the V-Ray. So that'll open up this little pop-up window where it'll ask you where do you want to save these files. I have a folder already set up that I'm going to save these out, and I already did, so you would hit choose. And then it will pop up with all of these uh, different PNG files. Um, you're going to want to do PNG because Clo again can read that versus some of the other file formats it won't be able to read. Um, the one thing you will have to note is if your material has transparencies, you're going to then need to uh, change those to a JPEG or remove the transparency. Some of the easiest way to do that is opening the file in Photoshop and just saving it out again as a JPEG. That will remove all the terrain speed so you won't have any problem opening it in Clo. So for example, I did that with this material. I just made a folder inside of my exports as uh, JPEG. This material doesn't have any transparencies, so I don't need to worry about this with this one anyways. But once you have all that ready to go, you can go ahead and open up Clo, and I will open up a new scene here. And we will import uh, our textures here once I open up this default female t-shirt here. So there are two main ways of doing this. The easiest way is literally just dragging and dropping your materials onto your clothing. So for this one I drag the diffuse and I'm labeling it as the texture. Hit OK. Then the normal, bring that over and label that as normal map. And then lastly, the roughness as roughness. So those are the three maps that you're going to need to bring in. The other way of doing it is when you have your uh, clothing selected, then you can go up into the fabric. You'll double click on that and you'll get your property editor. And now you can go into the texture. You can see right there, 
and click on that and you can manually bring those in as well. So both will get you the exact same results. It just depends on how you want to do it. So that's how you bring a AXF and you export it out and into a readable file for Chloe.